who have always invited the island Palestine Solidarity Campaign to be part of their radical anti-pink washing bloc at parade uh, down the years. We proud to support today's Pride Alternative. Pride should be a protest, not a cynical celebration, corporate pink washing of human and civil rights abuses. From the perspective of the Palest Island Palestine Solidarity Campaign, it is a very disappointing to see companies that are hostile to the Palestinian rights or profit from the Israel occupation and human rights abuses be part of today's parade. These are companies like Airbnb, PayPal, AXA, Tesco, and Bank of Ireland, and the Israeli website company Wix, which has founded by a former member of no notorious Israel military unit that spies on all uh, on, that spies on and blackmails Palestinians, and in particular targets LGBTQ Palestinians. <laughs> The apartheid state of Israel that has oppressed my people over seven decades using pink washing uh, to, dis to distract from and uh, normalize the settler colonial and apartheid regime it has established in Palestine. This pink washing is meant to cover up Israel's gross international law and human rights violations and facade of progressiveness and equality because it treats LGBTQ people relatively well. It is a strangely, it is a strategy which misuses LGBT struggle as a way of attacking the Palestinian people, using the fight against homophobia and transphobia as a way of oppressing others. <laughs> While Israel record on LGBTQIA rights is far from being all roses, it is deeply sinister when it comes to Palestinians. Israel certainly doesn't discriminate against Palestinians based on their sexuality when it is raining death and destruction down upon civilians, kicking families out of their homes and of their land. Incarcerating thousands of political prisoners and keeping millions of people uh, in forcible uh, f uh, exile. The Israeli military does, however, do, do its very best to discover and spy on LGBTQIA uh, Palestinians with a specific with a specific aim to blackmailing and ex extra, uh, extorting them into becoming informers against their communities. This is a practice that should disgust the, and horrify anyone who cares about the welfare of LGBTQIA people, especially those who live in areas where their rights have yet to be fully raised. <laughs> I'm not here to try to, pre to pretend that LGBT people aren't oppressed in Palestine. They are, just as they are in many, many countries all around the world. Palestine is not a perfect place. However, those who truly care about the struggle of LGBTQ plus Palestinians for both queer and national liberation should be supporting indigenous queer organization like Al Qos. Uh, Aswat and pink washing Israel. These, these brave organizations are also the same voices in, uh, to for in leading calls for the international boycott of the apartheid state of Israel. We ask you to support them, to support the boycott, divestment and sanction movement and support the struggle of all Palestinian people for true freedom, justice, and equality. Power to the people! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Thank you.
Mike Rezzi with two more.